is a group from Raynham. It's a school called Scargill Junior School. And I'd like to welcome on to the stage uh, Morgan, Bobby, Cody and Amy, who are all ten. presentation is called Learning in Our Pocket. I'm Bobby Church. I'm Morgan Cooper. My name is Seaborn. And I'm Cody Wood. And we're from Scargill Junior School in the London Borough of Hadrian's. All about our presentation. We're using Learning in Our Pocket is all about using handheld technology. We are going to show you some of the equipment <coughs> we use in our school. We feel We feel using handheld technology is an interesting way to learn and much more exciting. We all prefer this rather than working in books. It is a brilliant, innovative way to learn. Every, at once every week, each year group will bring their DSs in to use in their maths lessons. We, we usually go on PictoChat. In PictoChat, we are usually in small groups and someone sends questions. We also go on brain training. On brain training, we go on calculations times 30. Impact. Prove and increase mental and times table test results. A uh, fun, innovative way to learn as everyone is actively involved and of teachers as well as pupils, and it is challenging at all levels. Darren Stern, our bid. We entered the den to win money to buy more DS lights to enhance our learning further. It was a bit scary at first, but it still helped me to overcome my fear of presentations in front of a lot of people. Impact. It gave us the opportunity to build up our confidence. Speaking and presentation skills also through video conferencing. It challenged us to compete against other schools in the London RICT week as win we won Durant's Den and we won £1,000 to attend DS lights for the school with games included RICT week as we enjoy learning uh, in with DS lights we wanted to use them in other lessons each class held a group discussion and explored the pros and cons of every game here is a video of what happened. <coughs> Our ICT weeks on the 8th of November. For the whole week, each year group will explore a different Nintendo game and activities have been based around Year 6, Zoo Tycoon Year 5, Professor Layton's Curious Village Year 4, Animal Crossing and Year 3, Nintendogs Cross-curricular lessons have been planned throughout the school All children have been actively involved in planning the activities throughout the week by way of discussion and ideas. We are going to place copies of the Year 5 and 6 plans and on the back will be an overview of our handheld learning experience. This is what our classmates think about the DS Lights. They think it's cool, an easy and fun way to learn. They said, I like bringing my DS light to school and linking to other consoles to challenge another table. They also said they like using PictoChat to try and beat their teacher. We use the PSP to video our PE and for sports clubs as we can play back the activity in slow motion and evaluate our skills. They are used by our teachers too. Video a tricky part of a lesson 
we can then continually play the video back to recap the stages we have gone through. The Sign Language Club also use the PSPs to video their actions and then they replay back to see if their actions are clear. We use them to video English activities so that we can discuss our skills and replay and evaluate them. We have made a, our own modern foreign language dictionary. Every video for this presentation has been filmed on a PSP in the school. Saved in the bookmark section of the PSP, we have Thumbs Online for Facts and Maths Revision. Phonics Online for Phonics Work. The Gifted and Talented website. These are continually used by many children throughout the school. Impact. Instant recall and feedback to our actions through increased collaboration between pupils, peers and teachers. The choice of how to record our learning, personalising the learning as pupils can go at their own pace. You can also see our ebook on the connected website. Smartphones. Using WorldKey in a branching database, we use them for bug hunting. We also use them during our science week when Chris Patton came to our school. We use them for bed. Bedford's Park 2 for pong dipping. <laughs> Year 5 had taken the smartphones to a nearby shopping centre and interviewed some people from a local community on what improvements could be made. Year 3 took the smartphones to Colchester Zoo and, have, and interviewed some of the zookeepers. They also took photographs of some animals to add to their topic work picture on the tiger in a tropical storm. Year four have taken the smartphones to Next Generation Gym to video what equipment they are using and what effect it has on their body to enhance their science work on moving and growing. Impact. Instant information gathering techniques, being in control of, what, of our own recording techniques. We have been using smartphones to record information on our school trips and topics in our classes. As the device fits in our pocket, it can be put into a wet pack and is exciting for all pupils to use. We prefer this rather than a clipboard and pen. We, we can answer questions set by our teachers, take photographs, interview people and create create our own questionnaires. <coughs> we have showcased the innovation being carried out on, in our school on Teachers TV. We are working with other companies to improve our and their capabilities. Our school has also recently received the ICT mark. The report stated that there was passion and vision for handheld learning, supporting independent pupil-led led learning across the curriculum. We feel we have the Y factor. We hope we have provided you with the taste of the innovative work that is going in our school and the, and the impact that these handheld devices are having on our learning and creativity. We thoroughly enjoy using all the devices and they are playing a large part in controlling our own learning. We can't wait till the ICT week. Wouldn't you like to join us? For more information, contact Mrs. Webley on webleyka.scargill-jun-havering at lgfl.net. <laughs> right? We have created a wild form with questions for some of you to answer. We hope that you will participate and join in the fun learning that we experience in our school. We are going to come into the audience and ask some simple questions that can be answered directly on the smartphone. Unfortunately, we do not have time to show you the results here, but you can see them on the Wild Knowledge Stand upstairs, where we will be for a short while after the Y Factor.
We're just going to get the smartphones out. Is that right? And then they're going to come amongst you and smartphone you. It's actually, it's like having a, a jab. It's it. The idea is worse than the reality. <laughs> Check you out. You've got all the whole the data up there on the screen. How cool is that? Is that telling you which one's online and which one's offline and which one is broken? Genius. Genius. I'm going to watch one of these little mon monkeys in action with the tech. Then at the bottom there'll be a drop down menu and you just need to click on the arrow and it will be typed. You phrases like drop down menu are just normal, aren't they? They just, they just fl <laughs> flow out. That's amazing. Well, I thought that was brilliant. I'm just going to just, while we just help, help aid the transition, I think what we should do is we should test out the soundometer, all right? The clap o meter, which we've been doing in case you just joined us. Every presentation gets to clap. The loudest clap is the winner of the day, but we've also got a high level mathematician factoring in the fact that the first 60 people who were all from the school <laughs> in the first presentation left. And we've got some high level maths to actually compensate for that fact. So um, let's hear a big round of applause uh, for the uh, presentation from Scargill Junior School. Nice. Sorry, we, we, it's like a de delayed response there. I quite like that. Do you normally just do that, or did you, did you not hear us all doing that? <laughs> that was brilliant. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock it on the head there, because we've got two smartphones in the audience. They are, uh, beneath, they, are beneath the computer. they are the questions being answered, right, asked right now. Brilliant. Brilliant. So we can continue while that process happens, can't we? Yeah? Okay, good. So if you get given a smartphone, you know exactly what to do. There's some printouts as well. So we're going to move things on now? Yeah? yeah. We're happy to do that? Okay, well done to Scargill Junior School. We've got two more to go, I believe. Um, actually, we're not. Forgive me. Forgive me. That's why I normally wear an earpiece, because I'm actually very stupid. If I wasn't this good looking, trust me, I wouldn't be on the telly. Um, we're going to go over to our inquisitors. <laughs> Shut up. Um, and, uh, and you can pose whatever questions you like. Um, actually, I'm genuinely interested in this one. You, you used a lot of technology. You had PSPs, you had DSs, you had smartphones. Um, are there any particular of those technologies you preferred using over the others? Um, I prefer using the DSs because I've got one in my hand. So it's just because you've got familiar technology, yeah? yeah. Thank you. And how about you? Um, plus it's the touch screen and plus you have more games on it. Okay, cool. Anyone else? Sorry, what was the question? Uh, <laughs> I'll repeat it again. Um, used a lot of technology, DSs, PSPs, and smartphones. Which do you prefer using? Um, I right. like DSs because I've got one at home and I can like, practice with them. Thank you very much. And which out of those technologies actually helped your learning most of you? Which do you think you learnt most from using? What did you learn most from the DSs, do you think? I think you learn maths because you have grandparents mm. and you have people at home to help you with maths problems. Any of the others like to say which was their which are their favourites or we're going to be on the wild knowledge stand as well. Mm. <laughs> um I think the DSs as well because the Smartphones, as you can see, we normally record stuff and do questionnaires, which does help the DSs. There's a more variety, and we can also use them for English and reading because there's other games for it as well. Great, thank you very much. That's a really good answer. Yeah, yeah well done, young man. That was a great answer. Uh, okay, well, y the good news is because I kind of messed it up a bit, you get to have another round of applause, which is brilliant. Uh, let's give it up again for Scargill Junior School. Well done. Well done, guys.